Welcome to Kingdom Mirrors TV. On this channel, we post edifying content for your spirit and daily living. Kindly like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notification to get notified each time we post. Thank you, stay blessed, and enjoy this video. I bet you will never regret listening to this particular message. Let's dive right in. Are we together? Yes. You can respect yourself, but you cannot honor yourself. Honor is conferred upon you by another. Are we together? And there are graces that if and when they are not at work in your life, believe me when I tell you, you may be sincere and well-intentioned, but you cannot rise. As we wrap up this conference, I'm going to speak over your life by the privilege of God's grace, standing upon the grace of God's servant, and I want you to receive. Amen is a declaration that I believe and that it be so. Are we together? Please rise up on your feet as we wrap up. You're going to pray just one prayer and then we'll make declarations in your life. Amen. 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 One more time. Amen. Listen, the same thing a prophetic declaration to bless does is the reverse that a prophetic declaration to cause does. If I were Jesus and a tree did not produce, pastor, the logical way to end the life of that tree quickly, he had disciples, he would have said, get an axe and bring that tree down. I hope you know the cursing of the tree was not a parable. It actually happened. So, how do you stand in the mind of Jesus? It is faster to speak and bring that tree down than even to use an axe. That means in the mind of the spirit, it is better to speak over your life than to give you a job. The job is good, but in order of priority, if I speak over your life, if I keep a prophetic word here, and I keep an employment letter here. You are wise in the spirit if you pick the prophetic word. How does Jesus look at a tree, ladies and gentlemen, and to end the life of that tree, he does not use an axe. He looks at it and declares, no man eat of you again. And that's it. By the next day, they come and they find a tree still connected to the root that should what happened to the root ladies and gentlemen it didn't have to be removed from the root that means you can be connected to destiny helpers you can be connected to a place of wealth you can be connected to lifting but what was spoken on you is what will determine whether the root will supply any new trends there are many of us listen you are in the midst of plenty you are in the midst of abundance. You are in an atmosphere that guarantees your lifting. The problem was never the root. The problem was the prophecy that was on the tree. Because all men are like trees. He shall be like a tree. Are we together? I needed to receive what is coming on you and that's why I'm saying this. I've read that scripture many times, ladies and gentlemen. And it, it never ceases to amaze me. Jesus did not say, root, stop giving it nutrients. That was not a little shrub. That was a grown tree. Root, still connected. The ground, still fertile. The branches, still there. But a prophetic word disconnected everything in one moment. The same way there was a rod that was not connected to a root. There was a rod that didn't have branches, yet it was kept at the ark and by the next day, it budded. It means you can be in a situation, no uncle, no auntie, 
no helper but let prophecy come upon you listen that means in truth spiritually speaking what made that tree grow was the word not the water and all those things were only useful it means it's not really your job that is empowering you even though it may be difficult to believe that the tree can still be connected to the roots let me repeat it again Jesus did not disconnect it from the soil Jesus did not break away the branches he only spoke over it and with all those resources still there the tree dried but the rod of Aaron no root no branch but because a prophet and a priest spoke as commanded by God it budded tonight I don't care what is an advantage or what is a disadvantage by the privilege of the election of grace and in the name of Jesus Christ who give gifts to men and lifts men and makes them blessings household of David the body of believers here I decree and declare over your life from this day forward I prophesy you have compassed this mountain long enough rise to a new dimension 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 please hear me everything in your life that is not in order some of you your families some of you your children some of you your finances some of you your spiritual life someone is receiving i decree and declare by the god who calls and sends men bones come back to your bones finances come back to your finances let there be order in your life let there be order in your destiny in the name of jesus christ Hear me some of you in this place you came for this morning service and in truth you are like that tree you have a job yet you don't know why you are not rising you have an uncle that is sending you money you even have a pastor who is your brother you are like the tree connected to the root having soil even water but could it be that there is the ill speaking of men over your life the Bible speaks in the book of Job that God will deliver us from six things. Yes, seven things. One of it is the scourging tongues of men. The word scourge means a cane, a whip. A man's words can become a whip to your destiny. I decree and declare any negative pronouncement that has been spoken over someone's life here as an individual or as a family, I stand by the privilege of priesthood I change that prophecy right now. I change that prophecy right now. Hallelujah. I used to know a young man many years ago. True story. He was a thief. The mom cost him. True story. That until the day a rat stops stealing, that is the day he will stop stealing. The mother. I think he did something maybe he stole her money and in anger did you not read your Bible about Jabez the Bible starts by telling us the end of his life and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren but that was not the case all the time he says the mom bore him in sorrow it was not his fault yet the realm of the spirit still respected what she said because by reason of being his mother she had access to that dimension of the prophetic some of you have offended your parents you have done a lot of things the reason why a climate of pain is around your life you are a sincere pastor no open door because you did not honor your father and your mother in the lord the bible says honor your father and your mother who are in the lord oh are we together now mama just sat down and you stole her money and insulted her and say i'm a big boy and she may say i may not be able to fight you but may your children do the same thing yeah i don't care and you just leave it 10 years later 
you will find out that you give birth to one child who is like 50 military men because of a negative prophetic word. Are we together? Let me say it again. If there is any wrong word over your life, please receive it. Oh, for some of you, this may be your chance this morning. Maybe before you got born again, not to condemn you, but there were things you didn't even know the laws of the spirit you were toying with. I stand by the God of heaven and in the name of Jesus, anywhere you were cursed or ill spoken of, may the blessing rest upon you now. May the blessing rest upon you now. Hallelujah. A few weeks ago was my father's birthday, my biological father, and I blessed him, and he just sent me a simple text. He said, my son, you will live longer than me. And I know you would think it's just an ordinary, is he a man of God? Do people fall down in his meetings? You see, this mindset is what has cheated this, our generation. We do not understand the power of prophecy. We are looking for falling down and rolling up and down. Are we together? You've heard my story years ago that I told you I bought sugar cane for two women. Remember the story? And my man looked at me. These were frail women. Just, I paid, it was not more than 100 naira. I decided to honor them. And they were blessing me. And one of, for some reason, I didn't hear what the rest was say, were saying. And that woman looked at me and said, my son, forever walk upon gold. A woman who was trying to squeeze out money from her, this uh, 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 rapper. Most of you have secured causes and ill speakings. And you may brag and say, I'm a man of God. It will never happen. The realm of the spirit is a very orderly realm. Some of you, after this meeting, in all fairness, you may need to reach your loved ones, your parents, and say, Mama, just to bless you. Some of you are wealthy. God has blessed you, and yet your parents live like whatever it is. Mama, take this is just to honor you. To Whatever it will take you to secure a prophetic blessing is a risk to run without prophecy on your head. Hallelujah. Household of David, let me encourage you by the privilege of God's grace. May I encourage you to not only honor Jesus, but to honor this man that God has given you and his wife. And his wife. Are we together now? Most people do not know why things don't go well with them. Now, I know pastors use this issue of causes and, and, and you know, manipulate people unfortunately. But I am telling you the truth from the integrity of scripture. The prophetic has a permanent place in God's program. We were talking with Minister Dusin very early in the morning before he left. Sadly, you know, and we thank God for granting him the grace. And what happened to him. And we're discussing about the church in Nigeria. And we're discussing a few denominations. Some of our, our fathers, remember pastor in the morning? And we're talking about these people. Some of these people were not educated, but if you saw them, it was like you have seen God. They will speak something in your life. They cursed other people and said the sun will not go down without you getting to certain places. And the people left them. And for no reason, something just killed them like that. This ember mourns, I speak over you. If there is what brings other people down, in the name of Jesus, standing on the grace of your man of God, I declare be exempted from it. Be exempted from it. Hallelujah. And let me also pray over your life. Whatever has made you cry from January, February, March, April, Shalikoskia, Bragatuskiata, June, July, August, September, I decree and declare from now, September till December, what God will do in your life, let it be a compensation for your times of crying. Everything dead or dying in your life, hear the word of the Lord, it jack back to life now. 
and any man who vows and says over my dead body for you to rise may the earth open and swallow them in the mighty name of Jesus for those of you who are in ministry step into a new season of exploits step into a new dimension of exploits those of you in business nothing dies in your hands again in the name of Jesus we speak to the gates of Lagos may it be open for you may it be open for you may it be open for you I pray for your loved ones you will not hear obituary from any of them in the name of Jesus Christ I stand prophetically in partnership with the grace upon your pastor and I open the book of remembrance for those of you who have you have helped many rise you have contributed to the destinies of many and they have forgotten you today in the name of Jesus may the book of remembrance be opened for your sake all those trusting God for jobs trusting God for all kinds of increases in the name of Jesus between now and December I decree and I prophesy whether it is in Lagos or any part of this nation or any part of the world may your favor locate you let me pray for all those who found themselves operating in a level spiritually you used to see visions have dreams prophetic encounters and for some reason it looked like that glory just disappeared in the name of Jesus may that mantle return to you now there is a spirit that makes financial resources run away from people people work hard they end only to put in a basket with holes I pray for you every financial embarrassment within and around your life in the name of Jesus and by this conference the sound that comes from this prophetic word I sound it as a shofar to the realm of the spirit be blessed in Jesus name you sang that God is a restorer therefore let me speak to you like the donkey of Saul whatever has left you that should not have left whether it's opportunities relationships by the power that raised christ from the dead between now and the end of september i speak to you prophetically let it find its way back to your life hallelujah in the name of jesus I'm saying this prophetically I feel scared to say this this is for household of David in the name of Jesus I don't know how God will begin to do it but in Jesus name prepare for your Rehoboth I'm saying it again in the name of Jesus prepare for your Rehoboth not just for the church but those who are also connected to this grace there will be such a sudden emergence of people owning their properties and being established i'm saying this by the spirit of god some of you even before this year god will surprise you in a way that hallelujah i'm wrapping up if there is any of your family members who is not saved who has not encountered jesus right now we raise a sound from this church by the power of the Holy Spirit and we declare that by the end of this year may they find salvation may they find salvation the Spirit of God is ministering to me to specially pray for people who are in debt for some reason there are bills there are financial obligations that you have to meet and this thing has affected some of you have even gone down spiritually it's not like you are bad it's not like you hate God but the pressure that is on you in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit the persons 
the systems the structures that have been mandated by God to bail you out I release them to you now finally let me pray for you everybody who is here who attended this conference by this time next year in the name of Jesus you will return ten times better 